What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Aero TV, the number one place for building success, independence, and happiness in your paralegal and other legal careers. Now, today, I know that you guys have been itching for some content. I've been radio silent this entire month of June, and that is because your girl's got some things going on. Personally, professionally, my life is in a lot of transition right now, but I do wanna give you some content. And so what I'm gonna give you today is a little snippet taken out of my masterclass that I recently did in Microsoft 365. And in this video, you are going to see how you can use Planner and leverage it as a task management platform in Microsoft 365. Now this allows you to manage without micromanaging. This is a tiny snippet out of the masterclass. It's not the entire portion. However, it is a precursor to what we are launching in the e-course. I'm going to release a series of videos that are precursors to the e-course that we are launching in September. So if you're excited about this, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe if you haven't already, and consider hitting that bell notification to receive a notification of each time I put a video on here. So for the next several weeks, this is what I'm going to be talking about, Microsoft 365, the applications that are available to us, and how we can transform them to use them as a case management system within our law firms. I'm excited about this. I hope you are too. So stick around and let's get into it. So planner we see in two ways. We did add the plan right here onto our home page. That's down here. So we can quickly add a task right here. Let's do that. Let's add this task for testing task. Let's set a due date for maybe Wednesday and we're going to assign the webmaster as well as Kylie Arrow. So let's click add task. We're gonna click anywhere outside of there and that's where that task is. You see that I have a bucket right here and depending on how you use planner depends on whether or not you even use buckets. So let me just give you a for instance. Let's add a bucket right here. Let's call this pending. Maybe I've started this task, but I haven't stopped. I haven't ended this task. It's not complete. So I'm gonna move this over to the bucket for pending. Now there's a couple of different ways that we can move this around and show this around, but how you use Planner is completely up to you and your team. If you are using SharePoint site as categories or areas of law instead of matters or clients, um, maybe you use these buckets as your assembly line for that matter, for that type of case. Case in point, I have private investigators and process servers that I've done custom builds for. And for those people, they have a SharePoint site based on the client and they have subfolders in that SharePoint site based on matters that they're handling for that client. So they use Planner as an assembly line. Did they get the pleadings? Are the pleadings out for service? Did they get back the proof of summons? Is the invoice out to the client? And by the time these things get to the end of the buckets, they are done with that matter, they're done with the assembly line, and they can close that particular folder. So just an example there of how you can use Planner. So let's go inside this task. Let's look in here a little bit further. So we see the task name up here. We can assign further should we need to. It's in that pending bucket that we moved it to. And so here we see progress. And this is what I meant by pending. You can choose it's pending like this, or you can say, hey, this is in progress. And this is the start date. You know, I started this on the 20th, so it's gonna be done by the 22nd. For the people who we're assigning this to, we can say whether or not this is something that's urgent or important or medium or low on priority. We can also add a note. So we can say note here. And we can also show this on the card. So let me show you what I mean by this, by showing on the card. This note here, let's move it over here. 
and look, this is right here in that card. It's showing right up here, showing that it's in progress and showing that note right here. You'll notice that there wasn't any save or submit button. And that's because everything that you do here is saved in real time. So what if I have a checklist of things that I need to do associated with this task? Maybe I need to send a HIPAA and send letters of office. And maybe I wanna show this on the card instead of the notes. Still have the notes, but I can only show one or the other on the card. I wanna show the checklist instead. Maybe I've got an attachment that I want to ascend. Maybe I want to send the person that I'm assigning this task to, the HIPAA or the letters of office, because maybe I got them first. I can also comment about this task. And you'll see the first comment down here is the one creating the task because we can have organized conversations throughout this entire system, including the tasks that are assigned to us and the tasks that we assign out. Something over here to note is, again, you have that color coding system. Maybe every task associated with trial goes in red, every task associated with discovery goes in this sort of light green color. Um, you get the point, as complicated or as simple as you'd like. Perhaps this is something um, when you decide to scale. Something else to note is that when your assignees receive a copy of this task in their email, they are only seeing this information right here, which is what you are assigning to them. It is a limitation of planner that they do not see the plan for which this task is coming from. So they're seeing that they have a, a task for testing task, but that it's not from Masterclass V2. They're just seeing the task. Um, so a way to get around this is to type your SharePoint site right there in the very beginning of the task. And so that way they know that it's associated with the SharePoint site and this is the task. There is a link that they will be able to push when they receive the email that will send them directly into the task. But at least this way, they're receiving the information about the SharePoint site and the task, and maybe they can highlight that information, bring it over to my day and quickly create an individual task item for themselves. So let's click out of here. Let's spend some time in Planner, right click and open in a new tab right here on that left hand menu, and let's open up Planner. So Planner is for team task management. Over here on the left you have Planner Hub, so you can view everything in all of your SharePoint sites and you have my tasks over here. So whenever you are creating tasks, maybe you create a task for somebody else, but if you go ahead and associate that task with yourself as well, you will always see it right here on my tasks. You can see what started, what's in progress, what's been completed. You can break down each of your plans also by charts. Take a look at them for the overall what's pending, what's completed, how many things came in late at the end of the showdown, whether that be mediation, a trial, or whatever, was it worth it? The amount of time and the tasks that we spent in here, was it worth it what we got out in the end? So this is great for analytics. You can also break it down for schedule. You can look at the schedule for an individual plan or go to my tasks click on schedule or charts and look at your entire schedule across all of your plans. Going back into the master class plan, clicking on the three dots, giving us more actions. We have these right here. So we can quickly navigate back to our outlook, um, to the document library, to the notebook or to the site. We can add this to favorites and that's something else that I suggest your users do. So they can do that by clicking this button or clicking this button up here, but either way it brings it from down here up here and shows it as a favorite. So we can also add plan to Outlook calendar. 
the only people who have the ability to add plan to Outlook calendar are admins. So your tasks are separate from your calendar, but you can bring them together by adding the plan to Outlook calendar. You would simply click on add plan to Outlook calendar, click publish. This gives you that calendar link and add to calendar. Again, the only person who can do this is the admin. If you're all admins, then all of you can do this. If only one of you or a couple of you are admins, then you're the only ones that are going to see this option. You can also create plans right here from Planner. Um, I will say anytime you create a plan, a SharePoint site is also being created in the background. So if you see a SharePoint site dedicated to this plan somewhere in your groups, um, that is why. Because each time you create a new plan or a new project um, or a new team or new other things, you are also going to inherently create a SharePoint site as well. So let's click the three dots, go back to our sites. And this is going to take us back to the home page for the SharePoint site that we created. If you need more information about Microsoft 365, about Planner, Teams, SharePoint, and any of the like, head over to aeroconsultants.solutions, check out our videos. I will go ahead and link in the description box below my method for leveraging Microsoft 365 as a case management solution. We do have an e-course that is coming out. It will launch in September. It is filmed, it is produced, it is ready to go. I hope this small introduction of Planner and what it can do was of value today. Now, I told you before that I have an e-course launching in September. It does include Planner. However, there are some really exciting things that Microsoft has done and come out with in July for Planner. And we're going to be going over those in the e-course and how we can better use that system to create efficiency in our day-to-day -day processes and how it can help us stay proactive versus reactive and just <laughs> maintain our sanity with our legal careers. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this, click the thumbs up, consider subscribing and clicking that bell to receive a notification of each time I put a video on here. Good luck to you and all that you do because this crazy legal industry needs someone who is super smart and Microsoft 365 savvy just like you. Have a great rest of your day, the weekend ahead of you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Mwah.